then we say there's differences in the experience because each person experiences anyway. We go to watch the same movie or eat the same hamburger, we're going to have different experience. We could say, is that hamburger really the same? Are two different hamburgers made by the same place using the same ingredients the same or different? We can also investigate that, but still, we eat them and for sure we have different experience. Also, we both pick up a trumpet and we're going to play something different. Even if we try to play the same thing, it's going to come out different. So the expression and experience then is an inherent difference and that's only accentuated by difference in culture. For example, if I were born in, in Africa and you were born in the Nordic countries, then already our experience would be different, let alone if we have a certain language and tradition and lineage and habits of things that we do during the day. Whatever we do during the day is shaping, directly shaping our brain, our nervous system and our patterns of interaction. So if what we do every day is wake up at four in the morning and sit still like a like an empty log, you know, and then we bow for like an hour and we do these different practices, then that's going to shape our expression of the of realization. Not in not that any shape or form or expression and it has to be expressed in some way. <clears throat> so there, it's not that there's any way out of a pattern of expression or means of expression. So the expression will be shaped by the culture and the framework and the lineage and the daily activities. And the experience also will be shaped in many ways by these same factors. But the, that which we're really talking about, the realization or the self, we can't say anything specifically or directly about that. Because any condition or quality is in a limitation or a perspective but the, its very nature is that it's a wholeness, that there's no longer this subject-object dichotomy or perceiver-perceived and perception. So beyond that, beyond perception, you know, it's like saying, what is the perception beyond perception? Which is essentially, again, this, this kind of koan or paradox, what was your true face before you were born? It takes us to that place beyond language and only when we surrender to that not knowing, that, that deep not knowing, then is the being. Then we're in a state of being. As long as we insist on knowing, as we're still holding back for some kind of word or idea or cause, then we won't be able to fully merge into the unknown and the self or reality is essentially and inherently unknown. Want more? Click here for the full interview. Click here for more awesome clips or here for the full episode. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, I'm Kevin and this is Giovanna. We're traveling around the world talking to spiritual masters about meditation and awakening. Join us on our adventures. All you have to do is click subscribe.